The psychology of money is the study of how individuals perceive, manage, and use money. It aims to understand how our attitudes, beliefs, and emotions regarding money affect our financial decisions and behaviors. To develop a healthy and sustainable financial outlook, it is important to comprehend the psychology of money since our relationship with it is complex and deeply ingrained. At the core of the psychology of money is the concept that money is not solely an instrument for economic exchange but also a source of identity and meaning. Our cultural and personal values shape our perception of money, which represents power, status, security, and freedom. While some people may view money as a means to attain happiness and fulfillment, others may see it as a source of stress and anxiety. The psychology of money highlights that our financial choices are frequently driven by our emotions and cognitive biases, rather than rationality and logic. When feeling optimistic or overconfident, we may take more risks, and we may be more inclined to avoid losses than pursue gains. We may also make impulsive purchases or engage in excessive spending when feeling anxious or stressed. The psychology of money also recognizes the importance of social and cultural influences in shaping our financial behaviors. Our attitudes and behaviors are impacted by those around us, as well as by broader cultural norms and expectations. For example, during the holiday season, we may overspend due to the societal pressure to buy gifts for our loved ones. Additionally, we may be influenced by the media and advertising, which can create unrealistic expectations about what we need to buy and how we should live. Understanding the psychology of money can assist us develop better financial habits and make more informed decisions about our finances. For example, by becoming aware of our emotional triggers and cognitive biases, we can learn to manage our impulses and make more rational choices. Similarly, by understanding the social and cultural influences on our financial behaviors, we can resist peer pressure and make choices that align with our personal values. The psychology of money is a fascinating field of study that assists us understand the complex ways in which our minds work when it comes to money. By becoming more aware of our attitudes, beliefs, and emotions around money, we can develop healthier and more sustainable financial habits and make choices that support our overall well-being. One of the most common psychological biases that affects our financial decision-making is the availability bias. This refers to the tendency to base our judgments on the information that is readily available to us, rather than on a more comprehensive analysis of all the available information. For example, suppose an investor is considering investing in a particular stock. The investor may be influenced by recent news articles or social media posts that are easily accessible and may not take into account other important information that is less accessible, such as the company's financial statements or industry trends. This can lead to poor investment decisions based on incomplete information. Another common psychological bias is the confirmation bias. This refers to the tendency to seek out and interpret information in a way that confirms our existing beliefs or biases, while ignoring or discounting information that contradicts them. For example, suppose an investor is convinced that a particular investment is a good opportunity. The investor may seek out information that supports this belief, while ignoring or dismissing information that suggests otherwise. This can lead to poor investment decisions based on a biased interpretation of the available information. Another common psychological bias is the sunk cost fallacy. This refers to the tendency to continue investing in a particular asset or project because of the amount of time, money, or effort that has already been invested, rather than based on a rational assessment of the potential returns and risks. For example, Suppose an investor has already invested a significant amount of money in a particular stock that has been performing poorly. The investor may continue to hold on to the stock, even if it is not likely to recover, because of the amount of money already invested, rather than selling the stock and investing in a more promising opportunity. Other common psychological biases that can affect our financial decision-making include the overconfidence bias 
which refers to the tendency to overestimate our abilities and the likelihood of success.